This is a question we have October 2005, okay? And the question number uh, four and we have here. Uh, a group of 10 married couples and three single men found average mean, okay? And, uh, and 10 women was, uh, I mean, average mean of 10, average mean of 10 women is 41.2. And standard deviation of, uh, of the women is 51, I mean 10, because there are, you know, very well clearly 10 married couples are there. And it means, 10 means 10 men plus 10 women. And, but three single men also available there. So it means plus three men also there, okay. But this is a, a, a mean age of the 10 ladies are given here. So I'm writing it here, uh, mean, mean age of 10 women is 40. So mean, you know it very well, this bar stand for mean and women is given by him is 41.2, 41.2. And deviation of the 10 is 15.1. So deviation of the women is 15.1. Let me recheck, correct. And for the 13 men, the mean is given by him 46.3, 13. So mean of the 13 men is given is 46.3. Let me recheck. Mm, yeah, 46.3 years. And deviation of the men, all 13, all 13 men is 12.7 years. 12.7 years. So let's start. I hope so. Data is very important. First of all, read and write data like that, the way I wrote. And now he's asking mean age of the whole group of 23 people. Okay. So we need to mean of so the best technique, if you recall, uh, normally we have uh, this formula. I'm just writing here on the top. Uh, mean formula, normally we use is some of the values, some of the values by number of the values. This is a basically formula we have. Okay. If I multiply number of values with a mean, so I will get what formula? Sum of the values is equals to mean into number of values. Number of values. So this formula is very, very important. So same rule I apply here. I can say here sum of, sum of ages of, of, 10, because 10 are there, you know, is a 10, 10 women are there and men are 13 there. This is a very, very clear. Women are 10 and 13 men are there. Okay. So some of the ages of the 10 men, women are what? So what is the formula? Basically mean into number of values. Mean is given by him is this and number are 10. So mean multiply by number of values. And you know it very well. Mean is 41.2, is very clear. And number of the women are 10. So I got 412 years total of the all. Same story I will apply here on the men even. So I'm seeing here some of the ages of, some of the ages of 13 men together is a mean multiplied by number of values. And you know it very well, mean of the 13 men is 46.3, 46.3, 3, 46.3 into 13. And I will get here uh, 601.9 years. Now it's very easy plan. If I want to find the average of the whole group, average or mean of the all group, mean of the all, mean of all 23 people, okay? 10 from here and 13 from here. What is the formula of mean? Some of the values by number of the values. Some of the values by number of the values. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, very easy approach. Now some of the values means 10 uh, women, 40 this and 6, 23 here. So if I add this and this, I will get a total. So it means 412 plus 601.9 and divided by 23. It will give me the 23 people all average. And that is, uh, it's coming here. Uh, wait a minute, plus here. So if we check it here, 
average of the all 23 people it is coming 44.08 it becoming one years 44.1 years so this is average of uh, this average of all uh, 23 people uh, So I hope so. All points are very clear. Uh, we got it. Uh, ears. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Now this first part is over. He was asking two parts. So first part is over. Let's talk about part number two. Part number two is very important. Individual women age is denoted by uh, XW. And individual men, like each person, each, each person, uh, like age represented by XW for women, and X men for X M for the men. By first finding uh, sigma X square uh, of women and sigma X square of women, men and men. So find deviation of the whole group. So let's start. First of all, I will write formula for for women separate deviation and women men separate deviation. So let's start. Basically, all of you know that what is a deviation formula. Deviation formula, let's talk about uh, formula, basic formula is root sigma x square by n minus mean whole square. But because, but I want write for women. So I write here w, write here w, write here w, and this is very clear. Same approach, I will write formula one for the, for the men even. So sigma the women, uh, men, sorry, men, equals to root of sigma x square of men by how many number of men and minus mean of uh, all men. Okay, square of that. Uh, but deviation given by him is 15.1 for 10 ladies, 15.1. So here I'm writing 15.1 and very clear sense, sigma x square of women and because 10 ladies are there, women are there, so I write 10 here. And mean of the uh, 10 ladies we know already where this one, this one, 41.2 square. So I'm writing here 41.2 whole square. I hope so got a point and now I remove the root. So squaring both side. So 15.1 to power two is equal to sigma X women square by 10 minus 41.2 whole square. This minus sign will go there become plus. So 15.1 to power two plus 41.2 to power two and, and sigma x w square by 10. And our 10 will multiply the whole thing and check it. So I think so sigma x women's uh, x square equals to, so this time to 10. So first of all, uh, first of all, uh, first of all, I 15.1 square and plus, 41.2 square and what answer I get it times to 10. So I am getting here very simple 19254.5. So first this part is over. Same process I will apply here. So this is a, uh, sorry, this below is 12.7 is a deviation of 13 men, 12.7. So here I'm writing 12.7. Here root, here sigma x square by w and there are uh, 13 men you know it very well and mean of the 13 men sorry mean 46.3 46.3 and here i'm writing 46.3 to power 2 first of all squaring both sides i get here and sigma x the square by 13 minus 46.3 power 2 and this will go there so and 12.7 to power 2 plus 46.3 to power 2 and sigma x w square by 13. And now I'm writing finally from here, I believe understanding. So 12.7 to power 2 plus 46.3 to power 2 and answer times to 13. And I'm getting answer 2.9964.74. And now he's asking find deviation the whole group. And you know it very well. If I'm looking for the whole group deviation, it's not a hard job for us. Simple. What is the formula of the whole deviation? The whole group is what? Actually, sigma x uh, a square uh, women 
n sigma x men square by men how many and women how many add them and minus mean of the all 23 people i repeat mean of the all 23 people square this one so let's start and luckily this value we have here and this value we have here so i just simply uh, add them so here i'm writing now here 19254.5 plus 29964.74 divided by 10 ladies and 13 men are there and minus and mean of all 23 people i just found here and that is 44.1 44.1 so 44.12 power 2 it is a matter of just uh, i'm just uh, at just solving it so let's start so uh, root inside fraction so 19254.5 plus 2 Double nine six four point seven four, and down I get twenty three and minus mean square forty four point one square, and finally answer is coming here thirty three thirteen point nine six nine eight, and after rounding it is coming fourteen. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So deviation of the whole group is fourteen. Reason because when you round, I need, I need, I need, don't want. So we have to add, and ultimately it becoming. 14 alhamdulillah rabbil alamin the concept is very clear